Ay, ay, I got some money, baby. Ay, she gon' bump me but nothing dumb crazy. She gon' dump me crazy. <laughs> it's getting unfair. It's getting kinda unfair. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jamal Abiyade, and we're back again for yet another YouTube video. Today we're gonna get into something special. I'm gonna show you guys how to flip an old 80s, 90s R&B sample and make it into a modern day trap banger. Yes, a banger. Just like everything you hear on the radio. The crazy part about this video is that I actually did this video before. That was a year ago. Logic had some upgrades. I'm a year better. That was actually my first YouTube video ever put it on here. So this is the new and approved way how to flip an R&B sample. Before we get into this video, make sure you go check out my latest single, Lottie Dottie. Yes, Lottie Dottie. It's a workout theme video. It's fire. Run those views up. Comment on it. Let me know what you think about it, alright? I'm giving you guys this game for free because I'm just just like you and I've been in your position and we all want to create something dope so all I need ask for you guys to go check out some of my music all right that's all I need from you guys but look you guys enough of all that let's get into this video all right you guys so let's get into it first thing you want to do is pick the right sample so the song I'm choosing for this is I got it off of YouTube it's called something in my heart by Michelle if you don't know how to find samples or download samples I have a video to teach you guys that it's somewhere up here boom check that video out so I already downloaded the sample so all I have to do is go to my downloads, boom, something in my heart right there, drag the MP3 into there, boom, and get started. So the first thing you wanna do when you have a perfect sample, you have to figure out what part you want to sample. So listen to it all the way through, figure out what part you wanna sample. I'm not gonna be able to listen to this all the way through like that because um, I don't wanna get copyright strikes on my channel, so I can't do that. But that's what you want to do. After you find the parts you want to sample, you want to make it into a perfect loop. In order to put it in a perfect loop, you want to use this flex time. All right, flex times allows you to uh, manipulate a audio clip to make it as long as you want, as short as you want, and that will allow us to make it into a perfect loop. What is a loop? You can't tell where it ends and it starts. That's the perfect loop, you know. So you want to make something like that out of this. So first, you want to do is put it on flex time. Flex time is right here. Flex time is this little DNA button right here. You want to click it. To activate it boom you clicked it it says monophonic right here you see this other dna button you want to click it again to activate flex time on this track so all you did right here is activate flex time and logic but now you want to activate uh flex time per on this track boom it says analyzing transients boom all right now most likely it's automatically on slicing it says slicing auto most likely that's the case but if it's not the case you want to go to um go down and make sure it's on slicing most likely that's automatically the case but if it's not make sure you change it if it's on polyphonic whatever monophonic make sure it's on flex time slicing if you look at it, you see the transients right here these little white lines the white dashes right all right here to over simplify this what transients are is what logic thinks is the perfect place to cut cut in the song these are the perfect place to start or finish or end a cut in the song all right you have the transients what we want to do is put a marker like this boom right there you see how i put that little marker we want to put a marker where we want to start the loop and end the loop and maybe just loop that in a circle so we're going to put a marker where we want to start the loop and end the loop all right so transients allows us to see what's the best place to start and finish logic cuts it out for us then we want to put our flex markers which is this we want to put that flex marker at the start and the end of our loop so we can loop it all right so now i have to find the start of the loop i want to do i listen to the song already so i know where i want to start it at i know i want to start it right here you you can hear where it starts at boom you can tell that's the first note i want to start it right there so i put a flex marker right there boom boom so that's all you gotta do dun, 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 dun. So, and I want to stop it right there. That's the end of the loop. I have my first flex marker right here and my second flex marker right there, right? What I want to do is control click, slice at flex markers, not slice at transient. Why don't we want to slice at transients? Because all these white lines are transient. So we, if we press slice at transients, it cuts up every single transient. You don't want that. We don't want that. So command Z to undo that. Boom. We have two flex markers again. I'll show you one time. One, two. We want to command click, slice at flex markers. Boom, that cut out a part for us. Look at that. Perfect. So usually when you're making these kind of beats, you want to cut out two, at least two parts because you don't want to loop the same thing over and over again. So you want to cut out at least two parts. So what I'm going to do is drag this and put it below here and put a mute and we're going to come back to that. I'm going to cut out another part of the song so I can have verse, hook, all that kind of stuff. And just to be very, very clear, all you have to do to activate a flex marker is click the one of these white lines, the transient line. That's all you have to do. All you have to do is click it. Boom. 
That's it. And if you want to get rid of it, and because you set too many or you or you just hit the wrong area, press that little X button. Boom. So you got you guys just saw how you um, use the flex markers to cut something out. I'm gonna cut a couple more parts and we're gonna come back to it. So here we go. As you can see, I used the flex markers to say where I think the loop should start and where it should end. And I cut that out and I put it right there. So start and I put it right there. That's all I did. So so what I want to do is make this a perfect four bar loop. All right. Right now, if I play it right now, it's going to sound like this. So to make this a loop, what you want to do is click on it, click on it, highlight it and make sure your flex time on this flex time has to be on. And this flex time right here has to be on. If those are both on, you're perfect. So what you want to do is highlight this, boom, right? It's still on slicing. We're going to change that later, but it's highlight this. All right, so when you look at this right here, what do you see? You see a bracket with two sound waves. This allows you to click it and move this how you want to. Let me make this a little smaller. It allows me to click it. You got to go to the top right corner of this, top right corner of the audio file. I click it. I can make it as small I want, bad as I want. Look at that. See, and I know because when I chopped it up, I chopped it up perfectly where I want to start and perfectly where I want to finish to make a perfect loop. I know I already did that part. So all I have to do is stretch it or make it small enough, whatever, whatever. Boom. So I pulled it so it's eight bars. So let's see if it's an eight bar, perfect eight bar loop. Woo! Perfect. So, and actually I'm just on slicing. These have different modes of flex time. If I change the um, flex time mode to speed, it's like an effect to it. When the tempo on track change, the pitch will also change. So it's like 120, let's change it to 100. It's gonna get much slower and much deeper because we're in speed mode, so. Well, that's 100. Well, if we change it to 130, it's gonna get faster and higher because usually when it gets faster, it gets higher, so. You don't want to change the um, the pitch and the notes of it. You keep it on polyphonic. That's how you use the polyphonic and speed tab. But let me get into more creating this beat for you guys. So the five things you think I think you need for this beat. If these are beginner guys. You can definitely do way more than this. But it's just a beginner to get you guys started. But I would say the sample, duh, a snare or a clap or both, a hi hat, a kick, and an 808. That's the five things I'm gonna put in here. So I'm gonna um, go over here, hit the media file, boom, where this camera is, music note, boom, or hit F, boom. And um, I'm gonna go to my desktop production kit. And if you're new at this, go download some drum kits, you guys. Um, when I started using, I was using the stock plugins because I didn't know any better. Go download some drum kits. And if you need to know where to download drum kits, I have a video for that. Boom, somewhere up there. Click it, learn how to go download the dope drum kits. All right, cool, let's go. All right, so for drum kits, I have a favorite kit and there's just some stuff I like in there. I'm just gonna put a snare in there. I'm gonna grab my snare. Drag it over here, quick sampler tool, drop it, drop it. This is now the sampler tool. I'm polyphonic, go to mono, boom. Do that, cancel it out. And if you don't know how to program drums already, I have a video for that too. I'll put it up here, boom, it's like the ultimate drum tutorial. You can learn how to program drums in Logic. I'm gonna speed through it now, but that gives you a full breakdown. Go check out that video. Command K brings a virtual keyboard up. All right, perfect. I'm gonna double click it. Command A, that highlights all the notes. I'm gonna quantize it because I think something's off beat. I'm gonna add a clap as well. I find a clap I like, I'm gonna drag it again. Quick sampler, make sure it's on one shot, boom. Make sure it's poly polyphonic, mono. So I got that snare in the clap, it sounds good. Woo, woo, hey, hey, hey. Let's get a hi-hat in there, man. Let's get some hats in there. Drag a hat in there. Go right here, control, create a pattern region. Boom, I'm just gonna punch in my eye hat. Um, it's 1 16th, I know that's gonna be too fast, so let me see. So I'm gonna do the 1 8th to slow it down. And before I do that too, I'm gonna go to 16 steps. I'm gonna make it 32 steps because I want more changes and patterns. I'm gonna close this window so I can see the whole thing. And I'm gonna put some spaces because spaces equal bounce, you guys. Let's let you know, spaces equal bounce. I think that's something simple. Yeah, let's copy and paste that. All right, so I got the hi-hats down. So that's a simple hi-hat. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna do control click right here, boom. Convert to MIDI region, boom, right here. Click it, convert to MIDI region. And now it's MIDI just like the rest of it. And again, go to my ultimate drum tutorial or my hi-hat tutorials that really know how to do these drums, okay? 
I have some more sample parts over here. Let me see which other sample parts I have to make come after this first sample, you know? And this is why you do different parts, you guys, because I, I have another part I chopped up. I'm just going to put this these instruments over here. Maybe that'd be my beginning. Hey, yeah. I'm going to put a little reverb on this, make it a little more airy. Yeah, that air sounds good. That air sounds real good. Next, I'm gonna get a kick in here. Okay, I like that, man. Let's get some percussions in there, man. Right, let's try a simple wood block and see how that sounds for a perk. Let's get an open hat in here. I'm gonna get a reverse open hat. I like. The, I love how this reverse open hat sounds and this kind of stuff. So it sounds like it's going to something. And actually, guys, to show you guys another trick, when you're in speed, you can go to polyphonic, like I showed you before. I mean, I go to audio units, Apple, and I'm gonna go to AU pitch, and I can change the pitch manually like this. So great, guy, we got the basic of what we need. The great part about this is I cut out other parts. I cut out other parts for a reason. So I'm gonna go back to this other stuff I cut out, and I cut out like. Oh, that sounds really good. So I'm gonna make another one, and I'm gonna say, or I'm gonna say counter loop. That's what I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it at count, counter loop. All right. So I'm gonna put this down here again. That's my another loop I cut out. It doesn't work for everything, but you when you develop develop an ear for it, you develop an ear for it. So right here, hit the brackets, hit the brackets. Make sure you do with one of the brackets, not down here. You wanna do the brackets and bring it over. Boom. And just make sure you guys see what I did with this. For this top one, the EQ, I cut out all the lows, right? And for the bottom one, the EQ, I cut off all the highs. So when they play, they're not clashing 100%. They're kind of just playing separate things. So, See, I cut out that front part, then cut off that back part. So this would probably be the course. So uh, I have another one. So I'm gonna put Command V and I'm gonna stretch it. And this is how that other one sounds. So it goes. It's gonna go to this counter loop to this counter loop. There's two separate counter loops. And I'll put them on two different strips so you guys can see that these are all different samples. This is close to the same sample. This is a different sample. This is a third sample. So I cut so many things so I can use them and flip them how I want to. So. <laughs> That's the most important part, breaking that sample down. And it's really the EQ. You have to use these EQs to make them work. So I'm gonna do one more layer, drag it, boom, so it's perfect. And the last thing it needs is an 808, man. Where's that 808 I had? I need an 808 that's gonna crash through this, man. This is... Yeah, boom, boom. Yeah, there you go. Boom, boom. Yeah, boom. For this next eight bars, I probably I'm gonna switch up the back in a little bit. You know, I don't like repeating over and over again. So let me do this part. Boom, 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 boom. Something cool you can do for the beginning is something I can half time it. So what I have to do is you see this bottom part. When you're in flex time, this mode does this, right? But what I can do is right here, you see right up here, it has the bracket and two sound waves. Down here, just a bracket. I can pull the bracket in like this, boom. I can pull this out like this, stretch it, and this makes it half time and this makes it slower, so. I think this is gonna be dope. I hope you learned some tricks around the way. This is how you flip an R&B sample and make it to something trap, something you can rap to, you can sing on something dope to, you know what I mean? So check this out, you guys. 
This is the final product. Let me know what you think about it. Come on, hey, 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 hey. I got some money, baby. Hey, she gon' buy me, but nothing dumb crazy. She gon' dumb me crazy. Woo! Woo! Come on! Bring it back, baby! All right, you guys, look, it's your boy Jamal Abiyade. Thank you for watching another YouTube video. Yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let's get them subscribers up. We're on our way to 20K. Yes, 20K subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of them. We're celebrating a year. Yes, a year. I've been on YouTube for a year today. So thank you for uh, subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you for my old one. I'm just glad. Run those likes up. Remember, you guys, just keep creating, keep being great, and stay consistent. That's the biggest thing. Stay consistent. But look, my name is Jamal Abiyade. Thank you for watching. I'll holler at you guys next time. Everything is lit. I'll holler at you.